Welcome back. Now, with all the rain we are seeing across the country, is this a sign of climate change, uh, La Nina, or are uh, these uh, normal weather patterns around this time of year? Well, let's find out from WITS climatologist Francois Engelbrecht. Thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Uh, just firstly, I mean, I think that's uh, uh, quite an important question. Does this have to do um, with climate change, for instance? We do know that South Africa usually experiences rain in December, but not this much. Afternoon, Masehu. Thank you for having me. Yes, this is um, rainfall induced by a so-called La Nina event in the Pacific Ocean. Now, this is the third consecutive La Nina event that we are experiencing worldwide, and it's also the third consecutive summer with above normal rain, above normal rainfall in South Africa. So, from that perspective, what we are experiencing right now in the eastern part of the country is not exceptional. We should expect, and we have in fact predicted, for rainfall to be above normal this summer, the summer period, specifically for the December to February period. What is quite exceptional is what's happening in the Western Cape. So, as the viewers will know, South Africa's Western Cape region is, of course, a winter rainfall region. And to get more than 100 millimeters of rain in many locations in just a few days, in December, that is not that is not normal. Um, what is happening in the Western Cape? That was caused by a so-called cutter flow pressure system, one of the most important rainfall-producing weather systems for South Africa. It's the same type of system, by the way, that caused the devastating Durban floods in April mm. this year. That cutter flow was lingering there just off the west coast since the end of last week. And yesterday, it, eventually, it, it started to dissipate as it moved across the s southwestern tip of the country into the Southern Ocean or the Indian Ocean south of the Cape South Coast. And of course, when the system moved into the ocean, there was also some good falls of rain further to the east over the Eastern Cape. Now, this happens now and then. Um, the, the older viewers may know about the Lyingsburg, Lyingsburg flood. January 1981, that was also caused by such a cutter flow occurring in summer. So this is a very rare weather event to occur in December. Mm -hmm. um, it's not caused by climate change. It's it's part of the natural variability. It happens now and then. Yeah. And um, let me just point out that there's another one forming right now as we speak. This is even more exceptional that a second cutter flow is forming. Mm -hmm once again right off the west coast and the western cape can expect further heavy falls of rain this mm. coming friday and saturday because of the second cut of flow that is currently forming just to the west of the western cape yeah just explain to us uh, you know in layman's term what la nina means what what do you mean by this and also uh, another thing that i noticed is that in september when usually in south africa it does rain uh, we experience really dry weather in September and October. So La Nina refers to the cooling of the Pacific Ocean. So when very large regions in the Pacific Ocean in the tropical and eastern parts of the Pacific are experiencing sea surface temperatures, so temperatures right at the top of the ocean that are below normal, so lower than the long-term climatological mean. Mm. Uh, to such events we refer to as La Nina events. Okay. South Africans will also know about the El Nino, the, the opposite events. That's yes, when exactly. the sea surface temperatures are above normal. Mm. And El Nino events almost always bring drought to South Africa. And the La Nina events almost bring above normal rainfall. We are speaking here about a summer rainfall region. So El Nino and La Nina are mostly mm -hmm. summertime events. They peak during summer. Okay. So in South Africa, our, our rainfall se season peaks in the middle of the summer. So December to February, that's when we get most of our rain in the east. Onset of the rainy season on the high felt, for example, of Mpumalanga and Gauteng. That's usually around about the middle of October, some seasons maybe early on in October. This year the onset of rainfall was a little bit late, maybe by a week or two, and you may remember, Masejo, that heat wave we've had, of course, that caused, that contributed 
to the to the to the water crisis we had in we had in Twani and uh, Johannesburg for a few days around the heat wave. But um, yes, that is quite normal for us that our rainfall only really starts to pick up in magnitude or in totals from November onwards, and the peak rainy season yeah in the eastern part of South Africa is between December and February. Yeah. Yeah. And just lastly, you say that this is abnormal. What we're experiencing at the moment uh, is abnormal and that a second one, you notice that a second um, uh, event is coming soon. Do we know what's causing it? If you're saying it's abnormal, do we know why um, it's happening? Yeah, so the good falls of rain in the eastern part of the country is certainly quite normal for a La Nina season. But yeah, that, that rain in the Western Cape occurring in December, that is not normal. And it's caused by this cut of low pressure system, a very unique type of pressure, uh, weather system that usually forms in autumn and sometimes in spring. Um, but they, are, they, don't, they don't form a lot during December. Statistically, we only have one of these occurring somewhere in South Africa on the average every December. So for this system to have formed just off the West Coast uh, in December, that is not something that we see every summer. And to have, to have two of these events occurring right after one another in December, that's quite exceptional. I think it's just part of the natural variability in the system. Um, similar events have formed in the past. I've mentioned the cutoff low of January 1981. There was another such event in um, October, November 2013, when we had a hospital in Somerset West being flooded. I remember that event as well. So it, it happens, Machsecho. It's, it's not mm -hmm. that it's completely um, unknown, but these are, these are events that we do not experience every summer yeah. in the Western Cape. Uh, most, most certainly not. Mm. Thank you so much, Prof, for speaking to us. Professor Francois Engelbert, the climatologist from 